Onslaught hits his Optimus Prime. Transform and roll out. What's up, Alfonso Nation? Welcome back, guys. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for my collection video 2024. First of all, hope you guys had a happy new year. This is the first video of 2024 on the channel. Hope you guys had a happy holidays. All of that just came and went really fast. Aha, yaha. But here we are. We are officially now at 2024. It is a brand new year, and we have a lot to anticipate for Transformers. A lot of stuff already on the radar, and this has been a while since I've done a collection video update. And this is one of the things you guys asked for uh, the most. Where is the next collection video? And so actually the last one we did was in January 2023. So I think we're probably a year out since the last one. One thing I have to say for sure since the last video, the scale of this collection is way bigger. There are a lot more studio series in this collection today than where we were a year ago. And I'm not mad about it because I kind of missed having them. I kind of missed the fun of playing with my figures. I, I kind of missed that. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the collection. But before we do, I gotta tell you guys about something really cool I've been working on. If you guys want to take a look at it, I would much appreciate it. And that is the Alfonso Nation merch store. We are officially back with merch, baby. We got merch. This is one of the shirts that I have uh, available at my store. There's a few other stuff that you guys can look at. I got some, some of my like channel logo. I got the future built on dreams i got a lot of other stuff toy hunter shirt i know that was probably popular the hoodie is selling like crazy y'all love the hoodies i was expecting the shirts to sell more than the hoodies but the hoodies are going berserk so thank you guys for the support it's fantastic i'm very grateful for it and for those who purchase from now on starting in january 2024 you can use the promo code new year 24 for 15 percent off of everything site-wide at checkout so go check it out i got the link in the description box below i also got the merch shelf kind of integrated on the thing so you can take a look at it if you like something cool if you don't want to you don't have to if you can't understand make sure you like the video and that's all i ask i wanted to get my collection where i feel like i don't even need anything else like i feel like it's complete already i wanted to get to that point and I'm the closest to that point now than ever before, and I'm really satisfied with that. Also, I gotta warn you guys, I'm a big fan of the movies, okay? The movies is the reason why I'm a major fan of the franchise. They are my G1, kind of, technically, okay? It's what got me into it. The movies, the Cybertron video games, and Transformers Prime are the, like, the trinity that got me into the, the franchise. So, you're gonna see a lot of Baber stuff, you're gonna see a lot of movie stuff. That's what I'm into, that's what I like. A no shame in my game. So, take a look at what I've been working on, what I've been cooking, and hope you guys enjoy the tour. Let's get into it. Oh, 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 oh baby! Let's go, guys. We have arrived to the 2024 collection tour. You guys have been asking, and I have been preparing. And man, we are starting off the year strong. Judging from my previous video, and how little figures I had, to what it looks like now is really, really crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a full tour like I did last time. Um, I obviously expanded the whole thing. At one point, I think I had just this last piece here, and this piece here, and they were together. And I kind of had the two shelves, the two larger shelves connected. I decided to expand it and just like make the entire wall my collection. Because, you know, collections grow. <laughs> and, you know, at one point I was like, I don't know if I want to have all these figures. I mean, I'm good with like two premium scale three zero. Like, I'm good. But then again, you know, the more you collect, the more you kind of feel satisfied to see it all come together. So that's kind of what started to happen. So we're just going to get started. Obviously, you know, it's a it's a bigger wall, so it's a lot more to cover, but there's a lot to talk about. One new addition uh, in the span of a year that I've added was the Gamer Edition shelf, and that's the Gamer Edition Studio Series shelf. We've got uh, War for Cybertron is my focus for this top shelf. Previously, it was I think it was the Peter Cullen photo, but now we have the Gamer Edition stuff because this was the year, well, 2023 was the year that we got some Gamer Edition stuff. So, so let's just go over everything. Here we have the Gamer Edition Studio Series Clip Jumper and Bumblebee with the Studio Series Gamer Edition Optimus Prime. That is the Generations Warpath with the 3.0 MDLX Rodimus Prime. Of course, Rodimus Prime does not fit in this shelf he's not like part of the games or anything but i didn't really have any other space for him he didn't really fit with the fall of cybertron characters and i didn't really have a place for him so he's just there he kind of works you know he wasn't in the game but he kind of works i got big boy uh planet x omega supreme this is the war for cybertron omega supreme that's the metallic version i've got the gamer edition megatron 
I have the Generation Soundwave and I have the Deluxe Gamer Edition Barricade. In the back here I do have one of my childhood figures, <laughs> uh, and that is the the uh, uh, Skyhammer for Dark of the Moon. Of course, he also does not fit with Warper Cybertron, but he's a part of my childhood like game history, so once again, didn't have a place for him either, but that is my Warper Cybertron uh, display. That game is so incredibly amazing to me. It's part of my childhood. It's a really big part of nostalgia. I played it almost all the time as a kid, and I'm still playing it today, and it's just one of my favorite games of all time. It really has a strong presence in my history and in Transformers history, so I had to get a uh, display for Warper Cybertron, and I do plan to grow it as we get more Gamer Edition Studio Series in the future. Coming on down, baby, we have the Transformers. Prime, my favorite freaking show. This is my show. Guys, this is the Transformers Prime shelf. Uh, back in the previous video, 2023, most of these I had, but I had very, um, I had less figures, so I had more room to kind of space them out and do some action steals. Well, I've collected more, you know, I've got the Predaking, I got some more stuff in there, so it was a little bit more crowded. I do have Starscream, that was a new addition that I got last year. So, Predaking basically took over the shelf, and I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do going forward, because it's really crowded now. Can't really see the, the bots in the back, I even tried to use a riser, if you can't tell, the clear riser, <laughs> to get the figures in the back high up so you can see them, but still, you can't really see all of them. So I, I do anticipate that I'm going to be expanding this shelf in a, probably in 2024 to like a really bigger display because I do plan to get the Iron Warrior Transformers Prime Optimus because father. And they're going to be making more stuff for Transformers Prime. But anyway, let's go through it. We have the, I think this is a leader class Predaking? I forgot, but it's from Hasbro. And then we have the APC Toys Dark Master Megatron with the uh, Hasbro First Edition Starscream. In the back, we've got Arachnid, ABC Toys Arachnid. We've got the R.I.D. Uh, knockout. Probably can't see him back there. You've also got the uh, the Jet Vehicon in the back. We've got uh, two car Vehicons. We've got the ABC Toys Soundwave. We have the uh, Hasbro uh, version of Bumblebee. And then we have the ABC Toys RC back there. If you can't see here, let's see if we can focus. Yeah, there we go. And then we have uh, Ultra Magnus back there. We got a third-party bulkhead in the back, and then we have the uh, the Wheeljack. This is the I think this is a Robots in Disguise, Jack, Miko, and Raph, and then ABC Toys Chrome Edition Optimus Prime. So Transformers Prime, obviously my favorite show, and I'm going to continue to grow this collection. I want a stronger Transformers Prime presence. So hopefully. Uh, we get that uh, this year. Hopefully I grow it and I really expand it in this next coming year But yeah, this is like my favorite show of all time is what introduced me to the franchise It's extremely sentimental and I love and adore every last one of these figures. I want to get more characters I want to grow this shelf. I want this to have a strong presence. I really do without this show I don't think I'd be creating content for Transformers So I'm a big fan of it and I love every bit of that shelf Coming down, we have the Dark of the Moon shelf. So, the Dark of the Moon shelf, I had to kind of uh, break apart. Because I got some big baddies here, as you can see. We've got the Zeus Toy Shockwave. We've got the Unique Toys Desperado uh, Battle Damage Megatron. we got the MPM KO Ratchet Dark of the Moon Dance of Death Dino. We've got the Third Party Leadfoot. We've got New Age Mista. And we've got the big, oversized, um, I think it's original Venerable uh, Sentinel Prime. But I originally had Optimus Prime in his shelf, I had Ironhide, I had all these other characters, but I just... You just couldn't see everything. So I decided to just bring those down and use those for my 07 bots. And then this will be my Dark of the Moon display for now. The big baddies have a big presence, they really do take over. So I feel like this is a really good way of still capturing the aesthetic of my favorite movie. My favorite Transformers movie of all time. Once again, Dark of the Moon and Transformers Prime are the reasons why I make content. Is what got me into the franchise in general. And also the games. I, there, there's so much I want to get still. And I have very little space. So I'm trying to just focus on the big boys. That really captures it. Coming on down to the 07 Autobot shelf. Guys, this is... One of my favorite displays. I love this so much. So freaking much. 
This is the Autobot Arrival Shelf. That's what I'm going to call this. And what I decided to do, I had a Studio Series 07 Autobot Shelf with the Decepticons. I decided to consolidate them together. So I, I transformed the Studio Series bots into their alt mode. And then I have their corresponding robot modes for the Masterpiece uh, scale figures. And it really really works out my goodness i'm so glad i did this so here we have the uh, wasp warrior that's the ko npm bumblebee that's not the studio series from the five pack the bumblebee that's actually the dark of the moon mold that's an og figure actually from way back when uh my my studio series broke for our, for this five pack because i tried to transform him and that stupid little thing on his shoulder the pin that keeps coming out yeah I, I kept trying to be careful but it snapped on your boy so i may get another replacement of the exact same for the autobot five pack or i might just keep that one because i like that alt mode anyway and this is the studio series optimus prime babers then ratchet jazz iron height you've got the official npm ratchet for Hasbro, the official MPM Ironhide for Hasbro with the upgrade kit. I think Bad Mojo is down there. Still being bad? Yep, Bad Mojo. And this is one of my crowned transforming Optimus Prime figures. This is the Wei Zhang Black Apple Thunder Leader. This is the Optimus. This is this thing is a beast. Love it so much. I don't have MPM Jazz. He is actually on the way. I'm going to get the uh, Silver Phantom. I did initially have him before, but there was a QC issue that was really bad. But I think they did improve it, and so I'm going to get another one replacement. And then I'm going to have Jazz right there in between Prime and Ratchet. So that we can complete the Autobots Arrival 5. But man, that is that is so iconic. This movie, I love the Bayverse, y'all. Uh, I love it. These films are part of my childhood they are very important they're very special to me i love them they're such a blast to watch so i'm so glad to have the autobots coming on down yeah baby we can't have the autobots without having the decepticons this is just yes yes i am here for this so this is the decepticons for 07 it actually does leak into two shelves because once again these are really big figures and especially their alt modes now this is one of the most cluttered slash like crowded uh displays that i have because the alt modes are so massive so i will see what i will do about this going forward but for now this is what we're working with so this is the figure of 2023 for me the mpm bone crusher from hasbro that is the official mpm blackout from hasbro that is the uh official mpm megatron from hasbro and these are their studio series figures transformed beneath them uh studio series bone crusher Studio Series Blackout, Studio Series Megatron. I'll have to see exactly how I'm going to do this, but man, do they look just monstrous. They look so good. Blackout and, and Bone Crusher especially. And you gotta have Megatron. He's like the head honcho. I just absolutely love this shelf. I love all of these displays. The whole like idea of having the robot modes in the MPM scale and then Studio Series and Alt mode is a brilliant idea. Like I'm loving how this is looking so far. And then coming on down we have the final shelf. And this is the remaining uh, figures. So I have the MPM KO Starscream with the Studio Series 07 Starscream. I do plan to probably get the 07 version of the upscale, the MPM KO again. Uh, I had him and the tattooed version, and I didn't need both, but now that I chose to go with 07, I think I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna keep the tattooed version, but I'm gonna put him somewhere else, and then I'm gonna probably put the 07 version of the upscaled Starscream uh, behind his studio series. I got the MPM uh, Scorponok from Blackout. That is the studio series Brawl. We are getting MPM Brawl, so I already got his space right there in the middle for him. Uh, or probably on the end. I'm probably going to put the big boy on the end. I like symmetry, so I'm going to have the barricade in the middle and then have the two big boys on the end. Just for some symmetrical, some visual symmetry. And then we have the Studio Series Barricade with the MPM Barricade, official from Hasbro. And that is part of the uh, upgrade kit. You get Little Frenzy! And he actually transforms into uh, the blaster that Barricade used in Dark of the Moon if you wanted to do that. But man, love this shelf as well. This is also really nice. I adore all of the characters. The alt mode for Brawl looks awesome. So I'm really excited for Brawl to be joining this uh, shelf here at some point soon. So yeah, that's, that's this shelf. It's one of my favorites. It is something that I truly admire. And every single continuity or every single project or release, whether it's a movie or a show, 
I adore. So this shelf is really special and it's really grown from last time. So yeah, let's take a look at the mid section. This is probably the newest part of the collection itself. One of the things I really wanted to do is I wanted to bring back the Prime Shrine. You know, my Optimus Prime specific collection. And I wanted to bring it back in some fashion because initially all my primes were scattered in their respective continuities for the different shelves. So I've sort of kind of done that. So what I chose to do, since I have this whole mitt section, we're going to get to it. I know that looks amazing. We're going to get to that. But we have basically the Prime Shrine kind of semi-returning by in, in, in this way. So what I did was I have him and then he comes down and kind of like a U sort of. It's kind of like a U, right? like that or like you know just to kind of bring some some of that prime goodness to the collection because that's what i really wanted to do so let's go over the primes first this is the three zero deluxe optimus prime revenge of the fallen with jet fire you guys saw this in the last video and he is still here beautiful love him i did add this additional shelf here uh, I just wanted to add something kind of on the side of the shelves, and I did on that side as well. And I wanted to add something that is corresponding to what's beneath it. So, Revenge of the Fallen Prime, I wanted to add my boy Fallen. So, that's the Studio Series Fallen with the diecast matrix from, I think that's from Black Apple Optimus. Down here, please ignore the wires in the back. I'm still trying to figure out, you know, cable management and stuff. I hate the wires so much, so please... Please forgive me. I'm going to work on that this year. I'm going to try at least. Uh, so this is the uh, MP10 Optimus Prime. That's the Jada Diecast Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. That is the official Funko for Rise of the Beasts. That's my first figure that I've ever gotten. That is the Cyber Stumpers Optimus Prime. It somehow still works, which is amazing. <laughs> I am like really, really shocked. But yeah, that's a very, very iconic figure for me because that's the first Transformer I ever got. I, it was a birthday gift from years ago. I think I was like, I don't even remember how old I was, but it was under 10 years old for sure. Also, I do apologize if it's like flickering in the shot. I do see that, but I can't change it. If I change the frame rate to where this doesn't flicker, then all of my white lights are going to flicker. <laughs> So I'm just picking the lesser of two evils here, so I apologize. Then over here we have the Optimus Prime Shrine Continued. That is the MPM-12, the Bumblebee Movie MPM Prime with the holiday version of Optimus Prime and then the recently acquired 3-0 MDLX Prime, which I do like the look of. Uh, beneath that we've got some trailers and then we do have the Barricade last night. I just wanted a single shelf for him because he's a design that's so beloved for me that I just I needed something that specifically gives focus and emphasis to him and we don't really have a studio series of him yet or an upskilled so that is the Jada diecast uh car for him the car mode and obviously that is the uh, premiere edition the only figure that we pretty much got and he is a custom he's a figure that I have customized just a little bit touched up some of the paint and I think it looks amazing. Moving up to my movie display this is kind of new I'm still kind of testing the waters with this but I just kind of threw it together because I had an empty little little shelf here. And so what I did was I put my Rise of the Beast Funko Pops. I got Mirage, Optimus Prime, RC. And actually, my favorite of all those three is Mirage. The silver is beautiful. But in the back, I do have the Transformers uh, 6 movie still book collection. It's 4K Ultra, Blu-ray, and digital code. It's still sealed. I'm going to do an unboxing on the channel, I hope. I do an unboxing on the channel pretty soon. And then I have the Rise of the Beasts still book, uh, 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray digital code behind it. So that's my still book Transformers movie collection. It's still all sealed. I'm going to probably open them. I may or may not. I don't know what I'm going to do just yet, but I wanted to have that as a part of my uh, display. So moving over, we have the cell shaded Optimus Prime in his robot mode. I think in the last video he was in his alt mode, so I did transform him. I believe I did. And that is the Generations Orion Pax, one of my favorite Orion Pax figures. Although I would like to get, I am considering the Orion Alpha Trion 2 pack. Uh, then I have the mainline version of Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime here. So that is what I have for the Prime Shrine. Got some more trailers. That is the that is the uh, Transformers Prime ABC Toys trailer with the Earthrise Prime trailer. So that's this midsection, and those kind of just continue the Prime Shrine. I'm really glad I'm bringing the Prime display back because I, I really missed that in my collection. So I'm really happy that this is back. Moving over to this side, we're gonna come down here, and yeah. So again, once again, sorry for the flicker and the. 
in the wiring, but I'm going to fix all that. We have the Voyager class Optimus Prime for Revenge of the Fallen. This is the original way back when. That's one of the first transforming Optimus figures. I'm surprised he's in one piece because that was pretty brutal. And uh, But he's still there. He's still part of the collection all these years later. That is the Jada. I think that's a Jada uh die cast of the western star night optimus prime and this is one of my most recently acquired funkos a christmas gift uh this is the optimus prime from age of extinction slash the last night and it is the hot topic exclusive with the sword which is cool this is the voice changer helmet for the last night optimus prime slash age of extinction crown jewel baby crown jewel here we go this is the age of extinction premium scale three zero slash last night optimus prime man that thing is incredible. You know what's crazy? So last time you guys saw this in the collection tour, there was something very special that it did not have that now it does. And that's the official autograph of Peter Cullen from when I met him in TFCon. TFCon LA 2023. Peter Cullen's hands touched this shield and blessed it with his signature, his autograph. And so that is, now this thing is even more special to me now. And then of course down here, one of my favorite three zero figures is the Balmy movie, Optimus Prime, the deluxe, beautiful. This was also a gift, so it's also just as sentimental. I adore both of these so much. Every time I walk into the studio, my eyes always immediately just is drawn to these two. And obviously you can most likely see why. They are just wonderful. Just wonderful. And right above them, I did reframe the Peter Cullen, uh, the, the first time I met him, the interview uh, snapshot that he also signed. That one's actually JSA certified, thankfully. And I decided to put it right above the, you know, like right above the sign of the channel because it's a landmark moment. It's one of the biggest moments. So yeah, Peter Cullen still on the wall. To the window, to the walking. Anyway, so moving on, this is my newest edition. I think this is one of my newest ideas for the collection, and that is I went for a featured display spot, I guess you can say, and that's what this is. This is my Transformers Rise of the Beasts display. Not only is this film super special to me because of the fact that it is like a major rejuvenation of the franchise after so long, you know, of movie silence, but it's a landmark moment for the channel because obviously all the amazing things that happened surrounding that film, meeting the director, the composer, and all of the folks behind the scenes and being at the red carpet premiere, that's a major dream come true. And I just, I still to this day don't believe that happened. So this is a, this is an homage to that entire moment. Not just the movie, not just the figures, but the moment that they represent to me is really a big deal. So I have my framed shot of the red carpet uh, moment and uh, the Mirage statue. And I got the press badge there and my official ticket. This was at the King's Theater in Brooklyn on Flatbush Avenue, and it was Transformers Rise of the Beast June 5th, 2023 at 7.30 p.m., although we got there like hours before that. Section 1, row T, seat 29. So with that being said, I had to go all out with this display, and obviously I adore how this came together. The symmetry, the action, the completion of all the characters. Yeah, I had to go in. So we have the Maximals. Autobots roll out. We have it all in one spot. Studio Series Cheetor, uh, Studio Series Leader Optimus Primal, Rhinox, I got Primal smashing a, a scorpion there, a Terracon scorpion. We've got the Yolo Park Primal in his robot mode. We've got Air Razor flying above on a flight stand. Yes, I have three Mirages. I do. I do. Every time I look at this, I just can't help but think of that sound effect. And that is one of my favorite sound effects. Probably my favorite sound effect in the whole movie. That coin. <laughs> For some reason, that is so satisfying. So every time I look at this, I always think of that sound effect. And then, of course, we have the Studio Series Autobots, the other ones. I do plan to add Pablo. We're going to be getting Pablo in 2024, so that's a big hype. We have the 100B. We've got 102 Optimus Prime. And then we have the Studio Series Core Class RC. We've got Yellow Park Prime and Bumblebee looking freaking beautiful. I love the Autobots in this movie. I love the Maximals in this movie. I just love this movie as a whole. It is freaking awesome. 
This is one of my favorite things to look at aside from my crown jewel. And above the Maximals and the Autobots, we have the Terracons, yeah. We have Studio Series Scourge, Nightbird, and Battle Trap, and they are in their battle poses. I just wanted to put them in their own separate spot, and I think that looks really awesome. They look so freaking good as a team. I do have Novocaine attached to Battle Trap, and I love that pose. It's one of my favorite poses. I have Primal's Chain with Battle Trap's Mace. Uh, I did give this, the Transwarp Key to Scourge because that was his whole like mission. <laughs> That's why he was there. And we have Nightbird there. And I do have a Terracon chain that everybody wants to know where I got it from. I got it from TFCon of Los Angeles 2023. It's not something that you can get online. I don't think it was a local vendor. They made it by hand. And yes, it is. That's my bling. And right up here, we have the core class Noah Diaz, the main character of the movie. I decided to put a Terracon in his little spot to really maximize, no pun intended, his display presence. You can't take the blade off of his body. It's kind of just molded in. So if you can't beat him, join him. I figured out a way to make it useful. I have uh, Terracon Freezer's head being poked and literally ripped off by Noah Diaz. And I have some limbs. I just decided to dismember him because... I think that looks good for Noah Diaz. It kind of gives him that nice, like, shelf presence. So, all together, my Rise of the Beasts display is one of my favorite displays in the entire room. Moving on up, we do have, I do, I, I did at the Age of Extinction Studio Series of Grimlock, kind of like I did on this side with the Fallen. So, Grimlock, because he corresponds with the Knight version of Prime, so that's what I did there. And here we have a whole nother shelf to get into. I'm gonna move the light a little closer so y'all can see it. But yeah, that is my Fall of Cybertron display. When I tell y'all I love this so freaking much. I had to do War for Cybertron over there, so I did Fall of Cybertron over here. We have the Planet X Grimlock. This is the Planet X Vulcan with the Planet X Jupiter, aka Optimus Prime. I forgot the code name for the Megatron, but that's the Megatron Planet X Metallic, and then this is the Shockwave Planet X for Fall of Cybertron. Um, these two are Metallic, that's regular, that's regular. I plan to get a Metallic of Grimlock and swap it, and I think Shockwave looks good enough. And that is something I also got in 2023. I didn't really talk much about this, but I did get the Jinbao Warbatron. So the Warbatron is the Bruticus, but the Jinbao is like the third party version where it's upskilled. And that's just my favorite looking Bruticus ever. Like, I just love how he looks. I know it's not technically how he looked 100% in Fall of Cybertron. He looked more smooth. You know, he kind of looked like more like them in Fall of Cybertron. But this is one of my favorite figures of Bruticus because I love all the details. He looks really rugged and tactical. He kind of looks like a slight like movie version. So y'all know I'm all in for detail and you know he looks really aggressive and intimidating. That's one of my favorite figures of Bruticus so I had to have him obviously in the Fall of Cybertron lineup. And this game once again just like War for Cybertron major part of my childhood. I adore this game so much. It is the best Transformers game I believe we've ever gotten in history. So I absolutely had to have some type of grand display. I think I'm good with Planet X for now, honestly. I just wanted something small like this that just captures the aesthetic without going all the way in. It looks beautiful just like this, and I'm satisfied. Coming on down, here we go, baby! We got the Bumblebee Movie Collection. This is the Studio Series, so this is another major change since last time. Last time, you guys... We're watching my collection video, the tour 2023. I had some big boys. I had 3-0 Soundwave, I had Mega Tank, Megatron, and I had the Bumby Movie Optimus Prime. Well, the only characters, the only 3-0 like upscale, like premium stuff that I have for this movie still is that Bumblebee, which is the which is the deluxe the Bumblebee there, and the Optimus Prime right here. Because I decided to go back and like reverse my course on the Bumblebee movie and go for the studio series. 
I wanted to get the Studio Series of Bumblebee movie again, and I think I'm going to stick with these. For some reason, I just really wanted the quantity for the Bumblebee movie over the quality. I was okay sacrificing some of the quality, because I don't have to have all the ladies and greatest for this movie, but I, I, I really wanted as many characters as possible. So I went ahead and I got all the Studio Series back again. I also just got to give a big shout out to TF Collector 217, a buddy of mine, who literally sold me like 80% of this. Like, I had Optimus Prime already, of course. I had some of these already sound wave I know I had and I think I had either Ratchet or Ironhide but I did not have like most of these and he just sold me pretty much all of his because he was doing the opposite he was going away from studio series and then to premium <laughs> so yeah it worked out but yeah so this is my Autobots uh this is Bumblebee B127 with the mask this is Brawn we got Cliff Jumper, Ratchet, RC, Ironhide we've got my boy 38 Optimus Prime we've got the Seekers in the back I do have them on flight stands in jet mode. And then we have Bumblebee, the 3A version. It's really the KO, the 5U model. And he has the LEDs if I can, if I can, there we go. That looks freaking awesome. And then we have the Wheeljack. And then we have Jet Shatter and Car Dropkick, my two favorite versions of these Studio Series characters. Because there is a Car uh, Shatter and there is a, a, a Helicopter Dropkick. But... These are my two favorites. And then we have the th uh, Soundwave, Bumblebee Movie Soundwave, and we have the Blitzwing. And as you can see, there's a little space in the back. There's a little bit of room back there, and I believe that's perfect space for a gray buckethead antagonist that we about to get in 2024. He is on the way. We about to get Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Megatron, the big baddie that we never got, but we're getting for a figure, and I'm excited for that. So yeah, I got perfect spot for him, and we got my boy Shockwave on the way. Finally, a properly scaled Voyager clad Shockwave, and that's going to be just perfect. It's going to fill that gap, and it's going to be beautiful. Bumblebee movie is one of the best Transformers films we ever got. It is a fantastic movie. It's truly one of the most beloved films from the fans as well that I've seen. And it's for a reason, because it is a really nice movie. The designs are beautiful. So it's a beautiful film, and I just wanted to have as many characters to represent uh, what we saw on screen and I think this looks really nice. I'm really satisfied. All right moving down to the big bad Yeah, baby. I had to get Studio series devastator. I had to do it. I just he's my he's literally my favorite studio series figure I don't know if you can say that because technically he's multiple figures, but he's one big figure when combined He's he's awesome. He's so awesome. I somehow managed to get the DNA kit as well Studio Series Devastator is just one of my favorite Studio Series figures ever I just this figure this figure is just a monster He just I have to have him on the collection display and that's exactly what I did I don't have a really big Revenge of the Fallen Studio Series display. I'm probably gonna get some more figures maybe one or two I might get like a Megatron and an Optimus, and that might be it. Uh, for now, I have the Bumblebee that I broke. <laughs> it's just from the five-pack Autobots. It, it doesn't appear that I broke it, but I did. Um, I can't transform it, so it's he's just kind of standing there in robot mode for now. But I do plan this year to get Optimus Prime, maybe Studio Series for Revenge of the Fallen, and then maybe some kind of Megatron. And then I have the Ravage for Studio Series from the uh, Studio Series uh, Grindor figure. Actually, yeah. So this, remember this from last time? Yeah, so this is not actually Blackout, it's technically Grindor, but they're the same character because the helicopter, because, you know, it's just fine. It's, uh-huh, yeah. So yeah, and here we go. I actually, um, this is something I recently decided on, and I do have a G1 style collection. I'm not big on G1. It is a, sh it's a show that I love. It's a, but it's not like something I grew up with. It's not like part of my childhood. It's not nostalgic for me, because I wasn't born. <laughs> And half of y'all, to be honest, probably wasn't born either. It's okay to go back and watch it and love it and prefer it, but I don't prefer it over a lot of the continuities that we've gotten. But I was like, maybe I need to go back in time a little bit and get something that kind of reminds me of where it all began. So this is a lot of Studio Series 86 stuff. This is the 86 Ratchet, newly released, 86 Ironhide, 86 Perceptor, 86 Brawn. This is the Earthrise Optimus Prime, and that is the Legacy Soundwave. It's the same as the Earthrise Mold, I believe. That is the uh, Grind... I'm about to say Grinder. <laughs> I'm still thinking about Lil Ravage over here. No, this is the uh, Galvatron. Galvatron. And I have the Coronation Starscream behind him. And he's obviously sitting on the throne because it makes more sense. Uh, then I have some more energy on there. But I wanted to do this because I know that in 2024, we are getting the Commander Class 40th Anniversary Optimus Prime. So 
I just have to do it. He had to have a specific place with characters that he can be among, just in case he's a banger. If he's the same thing as Earthrise Prime, we're going to riot. But if he's what I hope he would be, which is kind of like an MP44, but downscaled, then that will be an absolute home run, and he's going to be perfect in that little spot. But that's essentially what I decided to get the 86 collection for. It is a small work in progress. I don't plan to grow this really too big. Nothing sentimental here, just to be completely honest, but I just wanted something to diversify the display because I got a lot of movie stuff, so I'm fairly satisfied with it. Okay, down here we have the Night slash uh, Age of Extinction characters. Uh, this is the upscaled figures. This is the Galvatron. That's the Unique Toys Nero KO. This is upscaled. That is the uh, VTO1, the Visual Toys Lockdown. This is the KO of the Peru Kill uh, Unique Toys. And that's his little Wolfgang Mafia. I, the Steel Jaws, apparently. They're both... They're called Steel Jaws, and Leadfoot's dog is Steel Jaw. So thank you so much, Michael Bay. The confusion is fantastic. <laughs> uh, we have the uh, KO Challenger. So this is the Unique Toys Challenger, but it's the KO version. The BS03, I think it's the number. And then, of course, I think this is my favorite of all of them. And this is the uh, Dragoon. This is the Unique Toys Dragoon, but this is the KO of him as well. And that's the Last Night Megatron. This is the only Last Night Megatron figure that I have. This thing is beautiful. I love the finish on him. I love how he glares. I just love the details. He looks really good, really accurate to Megatron in the film. This thing is gorgeous. Love the sword. Um, I do have the... Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the thing from the freaking last, the, uh, the staff, the staff. I think it came with Challenger, I think. And yeah, that's my little Age of Extinction 9 shelf, pretty small. I don't think I'm going to grow this too much. I might get another drip to replace my last one, but we'll see what happens with that. I really do like this shelf, though. These are designs that I kind of adore. That's what I love the most about the Age of Extinction uh, last night films. It's really just the designs and obviously the score, but like the movies themselves, not too sentimental, but they look fantastic on the shelf and I'm happy to have them. I do have a display of the in-game characters. I will probably swap this out for a Transformers one. And I have the Excalibur here, the sword from way back when to kind of go with the Night Age of Extinction stuff here. So that's pretty much it. It looks fantastic. I love the shelf very much. There's so much to admire on this one and... This one's kind of still a work in progress. I do have more G1 stuff I'm probably going to add. I do have more Avengers of the Fallen stuff I'm probably going to add. And obviously that one I think I'm probably going to add something else. Something big maybe uh, for that bottom shelf. Because the Marvel stuff, I actually have a spot for. So that Marvel Legends Mjolnir will probably move over here somewhere if I can do it. And this is... My newest addition, and that is the Marvel display. It's really small, really small, but it's it's all I need. And this is really a work in progress, so please, this is not my final product. I'm probably not going to keep that on the wall. I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. I'm still working with all this, but I needed a dedicated space for my hot, my hot toys, Captain America. <laughs> the Chris Evans, Steve Rogers, Cap... Uh, this is kind of like a Captain America shrine, sort of, because you kind of have everything Captain. This is the uh, this is the in-game Funko that was a gift. And yes, I do have a Chick-fil-A gift card here that was given to me by one of my execs. And yes, I did cut it to where it says, mm-mm, Chris. <laughs> we have a lot of fun, okay, with the execs. This is an inside joke, but it is technically perfect. I mean, look at, look, 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 look at, look, look. Uh, this is Chris Evans' mustache from the Netflix show Lloyd's Trash Stash from The Gray Man. <sighs> look, just let me have my, let me have my Chris Evans moment, okay? I feel so weird showing this off. Like, hey, guys, I have his mustache from the official Netflix shop. Yeah, that's so cool. That's not even a flex. Anyway, so <laughs> we have the Infinity War, Marvel Legends cap. And yeah, so this is just like my Chris Evans, Steve Rogers sort of like display because I really love him. And I might add some more stuff to that. We'll see. Coming on down, we have the uh, Sam Wilson cap with Moon Knight. This is the shelf I'm probably going to add more of the like future MCU characters. So like 
Phase 5 and 6. I had, I had some, but I just didn't want to keep them. But I think I'm probably going to go for some other ones. One of the ones I really want to get out, I need to have a Loki. I need to have like a, a Loki for the finale of Season 2 in Marvel Legends form. I want that so bad. And then down here we have the in-game Marvel Legends. I've had these forever since I think the movie dropped or since these dropped. You got Thanos, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor. And then I've got the helmet down there so yeah it's a work in progress uh basically that's just something i threw together to have a spot for all my marvel stuff because i do love the mcu as well but it's just really small compared to my transformers display but it it gets the job done and this is my favorite thing to look at anyway right here and i guess i could show you all the rest of the room it's not really a studio tour but i guess i can make it one this is my anda seat Optimus Prime chair that I got from them. I do have a little seating there just when I'm ready to not really work But I kind of want to lounge. I got the massive 10-foot Last night banner, which is crazy. It's not a film that I love But it's a massive banner that I got for free and it's Transformers. So uh, this is where I work This is where I make videos and I edit it's where I do all the magic. All the magic happens from here. Sitting at this desk, I do all my unboxing on this desk. I actually work full-time from home, like my full-time job. So this is where I sit literally almost every day. <laughs> but uh, I have the, this is the Clack Keys, I think it's called. Uh, desk mat. This is the G1 Soundwave. I'm probably going to get some more. I need a new keyboard. I'm not even going to promote the keyboard right now because the keyboard is a disaster. So my little drinkware, Transformers Prime. My headset, you know. I need to upgrade some of my little accessories here. This is the Magic Cry Pad 2 from Apple. It's my MacBook Pro Logitech webcam. And then this is where I, I house my camera for like unboxings and stuff. So that's my desk. This is the studio. It's Alfonso Nation Studios 2024. This is my little humble abode, guys. This is where I dwell. I can like change the color of the lights and stuff. Like, you know, if I want to just go crazy and have a party in here. Let's have a party, guys. Let's, let's turn the lights out. Yeah. Party Rock is in the house tonight. This is how it looks when I'm not filming for YouTube. This is what it looks like. This is my like my, my little setup. I got the I got all the hue lights. I can use them for a white, but I can also use them for a party. And that's what we're having right now. My favorite display is the Rise of the Beast display. I'm gonna have to give it to that one. That's my biggest like upgrade and is the most sentimental upgrade of course i think i'm gonna give my second favorite to the autobots especially when i get jazz the upscaled that'll be perfect this is my favorite show this will never like dull for me so that'll get third place i really like that i really like that that just looks so good so that might have to get my fourth place i'm gonna have to get that to the fourth place and my fifth place is gonna be the figure that i'm so glad to finally have back and that's Devastator himself. I mean, obviously this is my crown jewel, right? So this is obviously a given. But aside from this, that's my ranking. And I love it. Ladies and gents, that is the collection of Alfonso Nation 2024. And if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> Well, that's pretty much it for the tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you had a blast. Hope you liked what I was trying to set up and get a little, you know, get a look at going on. I like it. I think it's pretty nice. There are some figures that I do plan to get. There are some things in 2024 I plan to do to add to all this. I do plan to collect some of the Reactivate line. I do plan to get more Rise of the Beast YOLO Park stuff. I do plan to get a little bit more MCU Marvel Legends slash Hot Toys stuff here and there. Uh, maybe a little bit more Three Zeros here and there. Obviously, we got to finish the Bumblebee Movie Studio Series lineup with Megatron and uh, sh uh, Shockwave. I'm excited for this year. This is going to be a fun year. Transformers 1 dropping this year, if it doesn't get delayed again. And we have Reactivate. Hopefully we get more news on that. So it's going to be a year for entertainment and also some pretty iconic releases like the Commander Class 86 Optimus Prime. This is the 40th anniversary of Transformers itself. This is the 40th anniversary of the brand, of the franchise in general, which is remarkable. So... I'm hoping that is a really solid year and a really exciting year for releases, just in general. I do have some content planned for the year. Some is going to be a little bit different than I've ever done before. Kind of trying to move away from the figure-based stuff and just focus more on the entertainment and project-based stuff, if you guys are okay with that. I'm going to do some experimenting this year. We'll see how you guys like it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new, subscribe, and by all means, I will see you guys in the next one. Home Team.